Last year, the entertainment industry suffered two major protests from uh, the Writers Guild and the Actors Guild, each of them vouching and protesting against some of the inhumane and uh, inconsiderate compensations that were given for actors, for writers, and creative talents alike. Now, luckily enough, those two uh, strikes did come to an end when negotiations has finally uh, were made between uh, m the biggest production houses and, and, and entertainment uh, companies out there with the unions. And now, Zach Aftra, the union representing a video game voice actors, has announced another strike starting on July 26. This decision follows over a year and a half of stalled negotiations with game companies, particularly over the regulation of generative artificial intelligence in their projects. To give a, a bit of a perspective on this, there has been a bit of a breakthrough with ge generative AI where you can really take anybody's voice if you have enough samples of it, and through generative AI, you can basically produce anybody's voice's likeness uh, with complete accuracy. I mean, it's not the most accurate, but it is close to being perfect. And this could be a problem for a lot of video game actors who, well, their livelihood depend on them taking in voiceover works. But if somebody can just take their voice and sample it into a generative AI tool and just pump it out like it's nothing without any proper compensation, this is where we have a problem. And so now in a press release, Zach Aftra emphasized the main issue is the lack of agreement on how the generative AI should be used with concerns that companies could misuse AI to basically undermine many voice actors. They say we are not going to consent to a con contract that allows companies to abuse AI to the detriment of our members. Enough is enough. And it is further asserted that after 18 months of negotiations, it's clear that employers are more interested in exploiting AI uh, rather than offering fair protections for the union's members. And that is why now we are in the situation that we see today with voice actors uh, in the video game industry going on a strike. Now, who knows how long this is going to take, to be honest, but uh, I think maybe a few months, maybe to the end of the year. All I know is that these strikes don't take uh, too long because the main players in the industry know that if they allow such protests to fester for so long, it actually affects their bottom line. It affects their reputation, the goodwill, and even potential uh, projects that are in production could go into complete halt because, well, you can't hire the creative talents needed to finish the job. And so I really do hope that uh, game companies can come to an agreement with the Zac After Union, help provide better AI protection that first requires consent and fair compensation for performers. Uh, we can't ignore something like this for too long, especially when this type of tech is is getting uh, is, is evolving at such a f rapid pace. We need to have laws and we have to have certain agreements being established, having enough foresight to, you know, make sure that people's livelihood are not affected by AI. It's here to stay, I understand. But if it is going to be utilized, it should be done through legal channels. It should be done through something that, you know, that's that is presumably fair for both parties, the employer and the creative talent. And so who knows how long this is going to take. But uh, if the if the strike does come to an end and the negotiations no, negotiations do take place, I'll be sure to update you guys more on it right here on the evening buzz. Let's take a short break and coming up next, we'll be covering more news from the world of entertainment right here on the evening buzz. Stay tuned. If you liked this episode of the evening buzz, 
Drop a like and subscribe. Be sure to follow us on Instagram for all our daily updates and top stories.